Okay, here we go guys, we're uh, at the beach using a Sea Hunter Mark II. Um, Got to give it a best shot, I don't know how we'll go today. Tide's out, it's very windy. I don't know how the sound's going to go, but um, we're going to see how we go. Um, okay, we'll just have a bit of a look around. At the moment, um, I'm filming from a, uh, a place that was made famous in 1990, unfortunately by a massacre that was um, that was done here um, by a, a fellow by the name of David Gray at Al Moana in Dunedin. We're looking over towards um, Tyroa Head, the home of um, the Royal Albatross, the only mainland breeding colony in the world of the uh, Royal Northern Albatross. Um, so this is the beach, um, we'll see how we go, I'm going to get back to you soon, if we start to find any targets, I'll be back to you. Okay, I don't know how the audio is going, I don't have much luck with targets here so far, but um, never mind, still, uh, still persevering. I'm not going in the water at the moment, um, haven't got wetsuit on, it's... Um, it's only 9.6 uh, degrees Celsius in the water, so um, weather's been absolutely horrible. Um, I'm just going to persevere here. In the wet sand, see how we go. Um, hopefully we'll find a target or two. Um, at the moment I'll be going for a bit though, and um, I'm not getting anything. So here's hoping I shall persevere all the same. See how we go. I don't mind getting a wee bit wet, but I just don't want to get fully wet at the moment. As I say, haven't got my wetsuit. So yeah, we'll see how we go. We have fading light problem soon as well. It's getting a bit late in the day. Just trying to catch the weather right here at the moment and low tides as well it's just been an ongoing battle I tell you but um, this has been my first chance to get out and I just thought I'd get a wee bit of footage anyway even if I don't get any targets just to show everybody what um, what it's all about here um, yeah so I'm just slowly working my way up and down to the um, where the uh, high tide line's been there's just no, nah, there's targets are few and far between. That's the trouble we have here in New Zealand, is, um, especially on the South Island. Most of the beaches are very, very clean. Um, it's even hard to get bottle caps and tear tabs here uh, most of the time, um, let alone jewellery or, um, or relics or old coins for that matter. But you never know, you do get them and it's just a matter of putting in the time and the effort and um, yeah and that's what I do but um, here's hoping we'll get something before um, before uh, my time's up here and um, I have to go due to failing light so I'll keep persevering hopefully something's going to turn up see Hunter Mark 2 here um, I work it on uh, Absolutely no discrimination. Discrimination turned off. Threshold very audible, uh, barely audible, and um, yeah, we'll see what happens. There's no albatross flying at the moment. Um, over at Tyroa Head, um, the males are just arriving back for the breeding season, um, setting up a uh, base for the females. Um, in another month or so um, we will get to see albatross flying down here on windy days I hope to catch some of that um, on the footage for you so you can see um, as I say we have the only breeding colony of the northern royal albatross in the world that's, um, that's close to man and that is at Tyroa Head at the entrance to the Otago Harbour on the east coast of the South Island of New Zealand. Um, the Otago Harbour is the entrance to um, Dunedin, the city of Dunedin. So, a wee bit of information for you. Um, 
as I said earlier, we're at Aramoana, the wee nice peaceful settlement of Aramoana. And we got a target here. Oh, see if we can dig this up. And there we go. Hopefully it's a good one. Missed it for the minute. Still in the hole. So I can see out of the hole. Hopefully it's out of the hole. Look, I've got it in the scoop, whatever it is. Let's see what we got. The water there. Ah yes, and there we go, we have the old bottle cap. So there we go, first target, and it's a bottle cap. A uh, Spates bottle cap, famous to the Eden, Spates. From the, from the, uh, the famous uh, brewing house in, that we have here that uh, makes Spates. Very well known throughout um, the world, Spates, an award winning lager. So there we go. Uh, as I was saying, um, I am filming from um, the wee settlement of Aro Moana, which was unfortunately in 1990 made famous by the massacre that we had here by a gunman by the name of David Gray. Ended up killing 13 people, and including one um, police sergeant, and um, yeah, lost his life himself in the end. But um, just a wee bit of uh, info there for you anyway, on the area. Right, let's see if we can find something that's not a bottle cap. And uh, hopefully, we might find a good target. At least the bottle cap's a start and it's better than no target at all. Very dismal day here today, not much sun, overcast, it's been very, very windy, it's been absolute shocking patch of weather that we've had over uh, the last uh, couple of weeks. I've had a real battle even getting out to, um, to come uh, to the beach, so in between um, trying to get the tides right and the weather and everything else, it's just... Uh, yeah, just been a nightmare, absolute nightmare. But hey, we're here tonight and at least that's a start. Hope to get back um, again in the next few days. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll just keep coming back and we'll just keep filming us until I get some good targets and some good footage to show, um, show uh, my subscribers. I hope I'm not boring you too much with it all. I'm just going to give you another, um, another wee scan with the camera again now, just to show you um, towards um, Tairoa Head um, and the entrance to the Otago Harbour. And underneath the lighthouse here, which I'm hoping you're able to see, that is where the Royal Albatross colony is. Um, it's been streamed around the world um, at Tairoa Head there. Uh, they, they had a uh, albatross here called Moana. It recently um, left at the end of last season, and we're hoping that it's going to come back this uh, this year. So, yeah, some of you may um, may have had a look at the streaming, live streaming. So there we go. Entrance to Otago Harbour on the Otago Peninsula, Tairoa Head, east coast of the South Island of New Zealand, and the harbour that um, takes you into the city of Dunedin. A lot of cruise ships uh, come here. We have a very busy cruise, um, cruise ship season here in uh, Dunedin. Okay, I'll get back to you again soon. Um, 
if I find some more targets. Hopefully I will. And there we have it. It's one piece of tin foil. So that big hole like that and a bit of tin foil. Okay, back to you soon. And by the way, always fill in your holes. See that? Always fill in the holes. Okay. See if there's anything else lying around here. Thinking about just about calling it quits soon. It's getting very, very cold now. Just have a play around on the, uh, the drier sand here. See if anyone's um, lost any um, recent surface finds, perhaps. Might get myself a couple of gold coins or something like that. Buy myself some milk and some bread. You never know. Gets a lot of foot traffic here, a lot of tourists come down, see if I can see the um, the albatross. So there, yeah, might be a lucky day, they might have lost some jewellery, might have lost a ring. You just never know. I'm going to try and come back down here in the morning, catch a low tide. Hopefully the sun will be out, it'll be a bit warmer, and um, I might be able to get into the, uh, the surf a bit. There's even been some, um, some whales out here just recently. The last week or two, quite often get whales that come into the uh, entrance of the harbour. You also uh, quite often find that um, you see dolphins occasionally. Also very, very well known for um, sharks. White pointer sharks come here from time to time. Um, hasn't been an attack down here at Aramoana since I think 1972, when a diver uh, lost his life to a uh, white pointer shark. It was, it was caught a, uh, a short time later, the White Pointer, and um, our local museum has actually got the jaws to it um, in the museum. St Clair Beach, which is um, on the east coast of uh, our city here of uh, Dunedin, um, is also very well known for um, shark attacks. There's been several shark attacks here over the, um, over the years. I think um, once again though, the, the last one was um, about 1976, um, yeah, shark came and uh, bit one of the surfers, uh, surfers bit his um, thigh, bit through his board, he survived of course, there was another, um, another attack back in 1966, um, a, um, a surfer, uh, a lifesaver by the name of Bill Black, he sadly lost his life to a white pointer at St Clair Beach as well. Um, for a number of years here they, um, they had shark nets um, set at the uh, surf beaches in Dunedin and um, they used to catch sharks. Um, unfortunately they never caught any of the ones that um, were the dangerous ones like the white pointers and um, they no longer have those shark nets um, and of course there hasn't been any um, shark attacks in, um, in recent years so it's been really good. Hopefully touch wood there won't be and um, yeah, hopefully that's the end of them. The, um, the white pointer sharks come uh, very, very close um, to the uh, surf beaches here in Dunedin on their way to the um, White Island. And um, anyone that's seen the uh, Discovery Channel on um, uh, the program on Mega Sharks will know that um, Stewart Island, um, which is halfway between um, Oh, it's not actually that far from uh, the South Island here, but on the on the way to um, Antarctica is where the sharks um, do go. It's one of their uh, hunting grounds, and I think perhaps a breeding ground. And some of the largest white pointers um, in the world have known to be um, to be spotted down there. They have tours down there of shark cages, and um, by crikey, there's been some big ones there. As I say, the um, the mega sharks, yeah. Okay, I'm going to cut off here now, it's just getting way too cold, lights failing, um, yeah, hopefully um, I've got to add on to this video uh, tomorrow hopefully, and um, yeah, well, be back with you again then.